Hey everyone, BG Combi here, um, on this fine Friday evening. Yep, it's finally the weekend, so I think it's about time to vent. You know, time to uh, rant and put the put the public education system on blast. So, as you all know, I started college this year. That's right. I'm a Frenchman again, uh, and no, I'm not going to repeat myself because uh, you already know it's already been established. France was the ninth country ever made. Uh, you know the line. But anyway, yep. Just want to come on here and tell you all my experience uh, thus far. I'm a college boy now. Um, a college man, more like it. I'm, uh, almost not a teenager anymore. Nineteen years young, nineteen inches hung, full-on man. Uh, I even got one of those, you know, uh, pubic hair things. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video, um, thinking about growing a beard, you know, but I don't know. I mean, a pubic hair beard, a real southern beard, uh, whenever it becomes possible. But yeah, I'm a college man now. Uh, you know it, what it is. Sexy co-eds, barely legal, and I even went wild one time. Uh, I saw the Girls Gone Wild uh, tour bus come to my campus earlier this year. I went over there and uh, whipped out my 19-incher, and a security guard uh, tackled me. I got tased. Uh, have any of you ever seen that show, by the way? Girls Gone Wild? It's really boring. Uh, it's just girls taking their shirts off. But um, if anyone knows if there's, like, you know, a male version of that, like, with guys taking their shirts off, uh, never mind. But yeah, so far, college has been sort of, uh, good and sort of bad. Mostly bad. My advice is, uh, just stay in high school for as long as you can. Uh, anyone watching this who is a young teenager, fail on purpose and get held back if you can. And to any adults watching this, uh, stay an adult as long as you can. Never use a time machine to travel backwards and go back to college. If time travel technology ever gets invented, that is. College is nothing like the movies. In the movies, they'll tell you that college is all partying and all fun all of the time. But what they don't tell you is it's only that way if you're popular. Now, me... I'm the school reject. People spit on me as I walk by, throw rotten tomatoes at me. They'll yell, American pig will go home at me every single day. My only friend, pretty much, is the janitor who is like a, a young math genius. I met him when he was like solving equations on the window. And uh, I asked him to come up with an equation that would make me popular, basically, and help me make friends, but he said that that was mathematically impossible. I mean, physically, I could potentially take down anyone, so I don't get bullied, at least, really. Um, I'm probably the buffest student at my school, pound for pound, but being a macho powerhouse doesn't get you too far these days. Nowadays, the media tricks people into thinking that nerds are cool, like with that show Big Gang Bang Theory. I mean, there are guys who openly call themselves gamers at my school, and even they have friends. Back in my day, if someone played video games, they got their neck broke. Uh, you would take them out behind the woodshed and fire a couple rounds off into the back of their head, you know? Hide the body somewhere, hide all the evidence, um, 
and the police would just look the other way when they found out that it was a gamer. Nowadays, gamers are more popular than than me, it seems like. And yeah, that's a problem. So uh what else happened at school? Well, you know that one uh weird thing about college is there's no special needs class, uh like at my high school and like where am I supposed to go now? I don't even know. My old classroom had bars on the windows, and when you were bad, you got put into the hug box, which was like this broom closet full of mattresses. But now I'm with the general population, and I am a potential danger to myself and to others. And this is why we need extreme vetting, um, like Donald Trump said. <laughs> If they vetted students at my college, people like me would get weeded out. And uh, Now, someone will potentially get hurt in the future if I freak out and have an episode, which is very, very likely. Um, really makes you think. Um, anyway, yeah. I did make one friend, however. I mean, I literally made a friend, um, like out of sticks and tape and stuff, and I glued a teddy bear's head to it, and then put my roommate's flashlight between the legs to give it a functioning genitals. So, uh, I did make one friend, technically, if you interpret it literally. Like, uh, building a friend, literally making one with tape and stuff. Yeah. College! Woo! Party, party, party. Yeah, that's the gist of it, I guess. Um, so like I've said, stay as young as you can for as long as you can, people. Soon enough, you'll be an old-timer like me. 19 years young and 19 inches hung and doing 19 years to life soon. That's all I got. Take it or leave it.